Welcome to Simple Investing Secrets. In today's video, we're going to explore the top 15 dividend stocks to buy in 2023. So before we start, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates. Let's get started. Dividend stocks remain a safe harbor in this turbulent market. 2022 was a wild one for the stock market. The bear roared for most of the year. Russia's invasion of Ukraine, a spiraling inflation crisis, and an aggressive Federal Reserve interest rate hiking campaign all roiled markets. Stocks rallied meaningfully as the year wound down on hopes of the Fed letting up on its rate hikes. However, the economy now risks a recession in 2023, and geopolitical tensions remain elevated as well. Furthermore, certain sectors, like housing, appear to be in a lot of trouble. So what's an investor to do? Dividend stocks remain a solid choice. Defensive blue-chip holdings tend to fare well during bear markets and continue offering strong income even during recessions. With that in mind, here are 15 dividend stocks that are well positioned for whatever the economy may do in 2023 and beyond. They all yield at least 3% as well, offering superior income prospects from day one. With that said, let's review our list. Number 15. Shell PLC, ticker, SHEL. Shell is one of Europe's largest integrated oil and gas companies. It has also been a pioneer in moving away from fossil fuel reliance. The company has invested heavily in renewables. It is also expanding its network of service stations, convenience stores, and new electric vehicle charging facilities. Shell thinks that putting the customer first will help it make a profit as it moves toward being a carbon neutral company by 2050. In the meantime, however, oil, gas, and chemicals continue to generate more than 75% of the company's profits. That's led to windfall results this year with the surge in energy prices. This will position Shell well for the next few years. It can make more money from its fossil fuel assets and put the money it makes into charging electric vehicles and other next-generation solutions. For now, Shell stock is offering a generous 3.5% dividend yield. Number 14. Verizon Communications Incorporated, ticker, VZ. Verizon is one of the United States' three largest wireless carriers. In the past, this industry was seen as a safe place to work, but recent events have put that idea to the test. Both Verizon and AT&T have disappointed investors in recent years. After a big jump in demand during the pandemic, the growth of the industry has slowed down. Costs remain elevated thanks to pricey 5G rollouts and expensive purchases of wireless spectrum. Combine rising costs with a mature industry, and the telecom carriers seem less attractive. The bears may be blowing things out of proportion, however, as Verizon is selling for just 7.4 times expected 2023 earnings, and analysts expect it to return to modest profit growth in 2024. Meanwhile, shares pay a 6.9% dividend yield today. The company's drawbacks are already fully reflected in the share price. Number 13. Royal Bank of Canada, ticker, RY. Royal Bank of Canada is one of the largest banks in Canada. The company operates in a conducive market for banking firms. There are only six big banks in Canada, and they control more than 90% of the industry's assets as a whole. This limited competition leads to large profit margins and long-term stability. Royal Bank has also grown a lot in the US, and about a third of its income now comes from places other than Canada. The bank's wealth management and other non-retail banking operations offer diversification and boost returns. Canadian banks were out of favor in 2022 amid fears of a housing slump in Canada. The Canadian government provides a substantial backstop to the mortgage market, lowering the risk to Canadian banks. Put it all together, and this leading financial institution is selling for 11 times forward earnings and offers a 4.1% dividend yield. Number 12. International Business Machines Corporation, ticker, IBM. For many years, IBM didn't look like one of the best dividend stocks to buy. After all, Newer software and cloud companies were soaring, while IBM appeared to be left behind. The tides turned in 2022. Through December 2022, IBM shares have posted a total return of 18.2% this year, even as the rest of the tech industry sold off sharply. What explains the change in sentiment? For one thing, after years of declining revenues, IBM has returned to growth. The firm's bold red hat acquisition has given life to IBM's cloud business. IBM looks better now that the market is paying more attention to immediate profits and cash flow than to future growth prospects. While IBM is a slow-moving company, its legacy relationships with numerous Fortune 500 companies continue to generate gushers of cash flow. 
shares yield 4.4% and have some upside if IBM can keep nibbling at the market shares of bigger cloud computing providers. Number 11. Intel Corporation Ticker, INTC. The semiconductor business as a whole and Intel in particular had a bad year in 2022. 2021 semiconductor shortage rapidly turned into a glut. As it pertains to Intel, demand for laptops and tablets went from record highs in 2021 to double-digit, year-over-year declines. In 2021, both Intel and Advanced Micro Devices Incorporated could sell chips as fast as they could produce them. Now however, inventory is piling up and pricing is heading south. The semiconductor gold rush is over, but Intel still has strong economics. It's much larger than its rivals and has a massive research and development budget. It will be ready for the next upturn in the semiconductor market. The CHIPS Act, which was passed by the Biden administration, gives a big boost to semiconductor companies like Intel that are building factories in the United States. Number 10. Citigroup Incorporated, ticker, C. Citigroup is one of the country's largest banks. It has a large retail banking operation, does investment banking, and has a large presence around the world. The bank has long been one with a challenging reputation. It performed poorly during the 2008 financial crisis and has made several questionable decisions since then. That said, its valuation today is disconnected from reality. Shares are going for just six times earnings and less than half of book value. This is even as Citigroup's operational results have surged thanks to higher interest rates. Citigroup is now earning its highest return on equity since 2006. These factors are starting to attract the attention of famed investors. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway Incorporated bought a large stake in Citigroup stock in 2022. Given Buffett's exemplary reputation with financial stocks, value investors should give Citigroup and its 4.5% dividend yield a close look. Number 9. Enbridge Incorporated, ticker, ENB. Enbridge is one of North America's dominant midstream energy companies. Hailing from Canada, Enbridge's network of pipelines snakes around virtually the whole continent. Enbridge currently moves around 30% of all the crude oil produced in North America along with handling 20% of the natural gas consumed in the US. The firm also has investments in energy storage, gas utilities, and renewable energy. Ironically, environmentalists and government regulations have put Enbridge in a strong position. It's exceptionally difficult to build new pipelines, given all the obstacles to further development. This makes the existing pipes much more valuable. Enbridge has also been a smart business, not overextending its balance sheet and using leverage wisely. This has allowed Enbridge to maintain steady dividend payments in recent years even as so many American rivals have had to slash their payouts. ENB stock currently yields 6.6%. Number 8. 3M Company, ticker, MMM. 3M is a broadly diversified industrial conglomerate. The company is known for consumer brands such as Scotch Tape, Post-it Notes, and Ace Bandages. Its product line is far broader than that, running from dental equipment to safety helmets and automobile components. The firm has earned more than 118,000 global patents and remains a leader in innovation. Even so, MMM stock has had a hard time in recent years because of the weak economy and several product liability lawsuits. This has driven 3 million shares down to their lowest point since 2014. However, the company continues to increase its dividend annually, and its yield is up to 4.7%. There's more than just the dividend to support 3M share price. Shares are currently trading for just 12 times forward earnings. This is far below 3M's historical median. Morningstar's Joshua Aguilar puts the fair value at $183 per share, offering roughly a 44% upside from its December 13, 2022 closing price of $127.29. Number 7. U.S. Bancorp, ticker, USB. U.S. Bancorp is one of America's largest banks, and it has a heavy focus on retail consumer banking. In the past, that has been an advantage that has helped U.S. Bancorp make much more money than average. The past decade hasn't been especially kind to the firm's business model, however, and shares have underperformed both the S&P 500 and peer banks in recent years. This should change going forward. For one thing, U.S. Bancorp just closed its long-planned acquisition of Union Bank, which it bought from Mitsubishi Financial Group Incorporated. This will give U.S. Bancorp a much larger footprint on the West Coast. Then there are higher interest rates, which give more leverage to consumer-focused big banks such as U.S. Bancorp. Higher interest rates, a better branch network, and a low starting valuation make USB stock a winner for 2023. Shares yield 4.3%. Number 6. Canadian Natural Resources Limited, ticker, CNQ. 
Canadian Natural Resources is one of Canada's largest oil companies. Its roots are in Alberta, where it started developing shallow gas reserves in 1989 and then heavy crude in 1993. Over the years, Canadian Natural has bought more and more oil sand projects in Alberta to add to the land it already owned there. These reserves are of high value today. This is because oil sands function more like traditional mining than oil wells. Once a property is set up, it keeps running for many years or even decades without seeing production meaningfully decline. This is incredibly useful in a world where environmental regulation has made it harder to build new oil projects. Throw in Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and Canadian Naturals Reserves take on even more strategic significance. Shares currently trade for about 8 times forward earnings and offer a 4.5% dividend yield. Number 5. Walgreens Boots Alliance Inc. Ticker, WBA. Walgreens Boots Alliance is one of America's leading retail pharmacy chains. The company has been in a slump in recent years, but it saw a renewed period of excitement in 2020. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Walgreens locations were very important for getting medicines and other goods that people needed. That catalyst has now passed, however Walgreens shares fell again in 2022. There are long-term concerns, like the threat of Amazon.com disrupting Walgreens business. Also, in a world that is becoming more digital, the convenience store side of the business might not make as much money. That said, investors seem too negative about the company. Walgreens is selling for just 9 times forward earnings while offering a 4.7% dividend yield. And pharmacies are unlikely to be fully displaced by the internet due to heavy regulations on online pharmaceutical sales, along with patients wanting face-to-face -face contact with their pharmacists. Number 4. Coca-Cola FEMSA Sabda CV, ticker, KOF. Coca-Cola FEMSA is one of Coca-Cola company's largest bottling firms. Coca-Cola FEMSA primarily serves the Mexican market but also has operations in various South American nations such as Brazil. Notably, FEMSA is the sole bottler for the Venezuelan market. This has not been worth much of anything in recent years due to Venezuela's economic collapse. But this is about to change. The US is now loosening sanctions against Venezuela and allowing it to export oil again. This should make FEMSA's Venezuela operations profitable again, bringing 30 million consumers back into the soft drink market. When the Venezuelan economy starts up again, FEMSA could be one of the biggest winners of any company on the New York Stock Exchange. Even before that happens, the cough stock is attractive. Shares trade for around 14 times forward earnings, offer a 4.1% dividend yield and benefit from the improving economic outlook for Mexico. Number 3. Stanley Black & Decker Incorporated, ticker, SWK. Stanley Black & Decker is a leading maker of power tools, outdoor machinery, and industrial fasteners. In 2020 and 2021, when people were fixing up their homes and gardens because of the pandemic, business was better than ever. Now that the economy has reopened, however, demand has leveled off. Tools are durable goods, meaning that people who bought equipment recently likely won't buy it again from Stanley Black & Decker for quite a while. Long story short, the company's profits went from record highs to well below normal in a matter of months. Over the longer term, profits should normalize. The company typically earned an average of about $6.50 per share in the years before 2020. Put a modest price earnings ratio of 17 on Stanley Black & Decker's normal earnings, and that gets to a $110.50 stock price, a far cry from the $82.79 closing price on December 13, 2022. Shares yield 3.9%. Number 2. New York Community Bancorp Inc. Ticker, NYCB. New York Community Bancorp is a big regional bank that mostly serves the area around New York City. The bank has grown over the years by serving a niche, multifamily apartment lending. The bank is a leading source of capital for New York City's apartment owners. These sorts of loans have modest yields but have been exceptionally low risk over the years, thanks to the stability of rents and the housing market in New York City. As proof, New York Community Bancorp remained profitable and kept its dividend steady even in 2008, when many banks were melting down. The firm recently got final approval for its merger with Flagstar Bancorp, and the deal closed on December 1, 2022. This paves the way for the combined firm's earnings to rise dramatically in the coming years. For now, shares trade at less than 8 times forward earnings and pay a 7.6% dividend yield. Number 1. Chesapeake Energy Corporation, ticker, CHK. Chesapeake Energy Corporation is an independent exploration and production company, focused on the acquisition, exploration and development of properties for the production of oil, natural gas, and natural gas liquids in the United States. 
On November 11, 2022, Chesapeake Energy Corporation declared a $3.16 per share quarterly dividend, a 36.2% increase from its prior dividend of $2.32. The dividend was distributed to unit holders on December 1. It is one of the best dividend stocks to monitor. On October 19, 2022, Jeffrey's analyst Lloyd Byrne initiated coverage of Chesapeake Energy Corporation with a buy rating and a $150 price target. He believes the option value of energy is up again, supported by a tight capital cycle. According to Insider Monkey's data, 70 hedge funds were long Chesapeake Energy Corporation at the end of Q3 2022, compared to 67 funds in the last quarter. Howard Marks Oak Tree Capital Management is the largest stakeholder of the company, with 9.80 million shares worth $923.25 million. This concludes our list of the top 15 dividend stocks to buy for 2023. Before putting your hard-earned money into buying stocks or investing in the market, you should always do your research and due diligence. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for weekly updates on buying the best stocks and cutting-edge investment strategies for building wealth. Thanks for watching, and best of luck with your investments.